In this video, I'm talking to Ben Collins about getting started with Google Apps Script. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there, and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and on this channel, we do marketing tech reviews, tutorials, and the occasional interview, just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now, a while ago, Ben Collins, did a video for us on how to pull in MailChimp data with the help of Google Apps Script into Google Sheets. And since then I was really enamored with Google Apps Script and trying to figure it out a little bit more. So I thought, why not ask the expert himself? I came back to Ben Collins and we sat down to talk about how he got started in technical marketing, how he taught himself how to code and learn Apps Script and what his tips would be for Apps Script beginners. We got lots to cover, so let's dive in. So welcome to the show, Ben. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me, Julian. Uh, take us a little bit into what you're doing now. Um, I always see you as, as the app script guru when I, when I look at your blog and how uh, you um, think about stuff and how you solve stuff uh, with app script. Um, but take us back to when you discovered app script um, with your blog and, and clients asking you, uh, can you develop this for us? Um, what made you choose app script as a platform as opposed to um, Excel, right? Also a really big yep. platform. How did I get here? Well, in, in some ways, um... You know, I sort of say that AppScript chose me in, <laughs> uh, in, in some ways, um, because like I said, I was, I, I was using Excel a lot when I was um, uh, in the financial career, in the financial world, and I was teaching myself some VBA and really enjoying actually learning that technical side of things and, and basically becoming what I call a spreadsheet developer, which is sort of how I talk about myself now, uh, where, you know, you, you build applications around spreadsheets to, to automate data analysis and, and reporting. Just the sort of clients I had as well were, they were mostly, you know, startups or digital marketing agencies, actually. Um, and I would say, you know, 75% or 80% of my clients were, were Google Sheets users or Google Doc users. And so, you know, naturally, they when they wanted to sort of automate a reporting process or, um, you know, connect to some sort of API to bring data into their sheets. It was always, can we do this with Google, with Google apps? So, you know, that, that's just where the sort of requests came. And um, as soon as I started to dig into app script, which is actually, I first came across it, I think four years ago. Um, so even that was even preceded any of the client work, but really I picked it up properly about two, two years ago. Great. Um... So give us some, some examples when you help out your clients with, with Apps Script. What kind of uh, projects do you take on? Um, and tell us maybe a use case uh, where an Apps Script made a great difference for your client as well. Yeah, sure. So I'll tell you a few, uh, I'll give you a few examples, actually. Um, so I, I worked with a client last year who, um, so their own so this my client had their own clients they were like a little agency and their clients were in the music business and i think it was once a month or maybe once a week they wanted to compare all of the different charts charts across these different um european countries and and then match up all the different songs to see where the particular songs were on different charts to try and discover new artists and who was going up and who's going down that kind of thing and they would do this whole process by by hand or well, mostly by hand, they would sort of, they had a few um, tools to bring the data into a Google Sheet, but then they would be matching it all um, by hand, which is obviously takes a huge amount of time. It would take them days each month. And it was error prone, you know, because, you know, you, know, you can easily miss one song when it's in a big long list of 100. Uh, and so what I helped um, do for them was to actually build a little tool in app script that would take two lists in your sheets and compare the two with this fuzzy matching as well, because the song titles weren't quite always the same. Um, and it would match them approximately and say, uh, you know, here's the sort of 75 songs that we've matched up across these different charts. And then here's the 25 new ones that appeared on the, the German chart top 100, but didn't appear on the Italian chart top 100 or something can give them like a little output like that. And it would take, you know, under a minute to sort of churn through and just give this output and then they could have this list that was previously taking them kind of a couple of days. So 
so that was a really fun project as well. Actually, there was some interesting, um, you know, app script work in that one, and 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 the, um, the client was great. And that was a fun that was a fun project. Um, and then I'll tell you one other example actually as well that I created for myself actually uh, because I was I've done some work teaching now for General Assembly. I've taught there data analysis course three times their part-time data analysis course and one thing you do in that is you mark all the student projects and then you give them all feedback um, which can mean sending out you know 25 different emails to, and then 25 different slack messages and and you know it can be kind of burdensome to just do it one by one uh, so what i did was because we had all the results in a spreadsheet already so it was kind of cutting and pasting from the spreadsheet to an email then putting the name at the top and then pressing send and then doing the next thing. Uh, so we had this spreadsheet with all the emails, all the names, all the marks from the projects, all the feedback, good and bad and improvements and, and whatnot. Uh, and so I wrote a little script to just pull that automatically into a, an email and then automatically into a Slack mm -hmm. message as well and just send. So you could literally just press a button and it would send out all 25 scores simultaneously um, and I never, I didn't have to do that manual step. So that was a really nice little tool actually that um, that saved me, you know, a couple of hours work. So, what would you say? Um, tell us a little bit about App Script. What would need somebody know uh, in order to get started with it? Um, what are the basics, and where could they find out more about this? Um, I know you have a great blog, but there might be others, other resources out there that um, can get people up to speed as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, so App Script is. Uh, Base, it's like the JavaScript language, essentially. Um, it's it's a little bit different um, because it's a little bit sort of like a slightly slightly older version of JavaScript, but it's essentially the JavaScript language, uh, which is the de facto language of the web that we're all used to. And I'm sure, uh, you know, so, so it's a good one to learn anyway, even if maybe you don't necessarily go down becoming like an app script specialist, just having a little bit of knowledge there means you know a little bit of JavaScript, which is going to help you um, you know, with technical, the technical side of things anyway. Well, the, so the nice thing is that, you know, because it's on the Google um, servers, you can, you can just open up a spreadsheet, a blank Google Sheets. Um, under the tools menu, there's a script editor. You can just pop that open and just start writing. You know, there's plenty of examples online and, um, you know, we can talk about those, some URLs in a moment. Uh, you know, and you just start writing a little bit of code and just press run and just, just, you can have your first program going very, very quickly. And so it's a nice environment because you can, you're straight in there. You're not getting too frustrated um, trying to set everything up or, or understand how to, um, you know, do all that side, that side of things. So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of great resources out there. Um, you know, the official docs uh, are pretty comprehensive and, you know, you, you need to go there. You'll get used to um, using them when you, you know, you're, you're doing your app script and you want to find out some specific thing, you'll go to the doc as your sort of starting point and find out what this particular class does maybe that you're about to use. And it'll tell you what the parameters are, or how you, how you, what the syntax is and that kind of thing. Um, so the docs are, even though they're, you know, they take a little while to, to, to fully understand um, exactly what the information there is telling you and things, but definitely, you know, you, you'll want to spend some time there so we can, we can share that one. Um, and they also, they have a sort of a five minute quick start to just get you up and running as well. Um, just a couple of example scripts that you can start running. Um, then I've written a blog post myself, actually, that's called Beginner Guide to, to Using Up Script. That's very, very basic. Uh, you know, just talks about how you can write your very first program about the, the classical Hello World um, <laughs> computer program, um, just using Up Script. And it talks a little bit about um, finding that script editor and and it's you know it's um, that's very basic so that's a you could start there and then there's a great a um, couple of great forums online as well that you can go to um, with questions and uh, you know that might be something that you would use a little bit further down the line once you've kind of you've got a little bit of and uh, momentum one <clears throat> one uh, resource that I can also recommend also a little bit more advanced but there are some great YouTube um, resources on the developer channel of Google. Um, yep. A bit more advanced because they always talk about new features. And then uh, there's also Unscripted. Is that the show? 
um, yep. where where F script developers basically uh, geek out on on Google Hangouts on uh, these newest newest um, developments in F script. So yeah. um, I've heard there are some great developments going on. So where do you see the the whole F script platform going? Um, what do you think uh, is it is it still something for the future, or <laughs> should everybody stop uh, using F script? Actually, it's a good, that's a, a good question and a valid question. Um, you know, because technology changes so quickly, but I think AppScript is definitely on a very solid foundation and will be here for for a long time yet uh, because it's it's connected now with all of the different sort of Google app products and connects, like I said, very seamlessly with all of the APIs. And so there's a lot of people building a lot of tools now with AppScript. <clears throat> um, and so, and they're, they're investing in it. You know, they're, they're, they're constantly, as you said, on the developer channel, they, they, bring out new resources they they um they're always adding you know new features and things like that um and they actually had the google cloud conference in in march so that not so long ago and uh, the, the last totally unscripted episode was all was all about some of the developments there actually and talking about where the future of app script is going so i haven't had a chance to watch that myself but it definitely sounds very positive yeah so at the end um we have some time to uh, talk about you and w what are you up to at the moment, and where um, where where can people find out more about you and uh, what do you offer? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So um, yeah, my website is benlcollins.com. So Ben L Collins with the L in the middle. And at the moment, I am I'm focusing on online learning actually. So I, I launched my first course in February about building dashboards and doing reporting with Google Sheets and Data Studio. And that has a little bit of app script in there as well. And then, uh, uh, you know, I'm working on a second course now. Again, it's another Google Sheets one, but more about the, the data analysis side of things, data cleaning and things. And I'd like to, so I'd like to, that's where my focus is at the moment, more, more so than the client work. Um, I, I'd really love to just launch sort of a handful of these Google specific courses around data, uh, around teaching people to automate processes. And, uh, you know, cause I really enjoy, I really enjoy teaching and I really enjoy seeing people, um, you know, learn. And that's probably the most rewarding thing I can do. So, so that's my focus at the moment. Um, is just trying to, to launch more of these courses. Yeah, I can just say that um, we have bought Ben's course as well. And then I offered Ben, hey, why don't you uh, come on to Measure School and, and sell your course through us as well? So you can check it out there as well. But uh, I can vouch for, for the course. It's, it's, it's really well put together. And it's also unique in the marketplace, right? Because um, who can you find that, that actually knows his way out in, oh, he, who knows? his way in app script but also uh, data analysis that's that's a unique ability um, from my perspective all right um thank you ben and hope uh, hope to get you on again next time great well thanks very much julian it's been uh, great to chat and i hope everyone got some some value and if anyone has questions then you can you can find contact details for me and just give me a shout as well right. thanks all right, so there you have it. I hope you found these tips useful on how to get started with Google Apps Script and enjoyed our conversation. Now, there is much more to this conversation that you can check out under techmarketer.io slash Ben Collins, where we'll have the full interview for you. We had to cut it down a little bit for this format here on YouTube, but I hope you enjoyed this conversation. And if you like these videos that we do here on Measure School, then be sure to hit that subscribe button right over there. And I'll see you next week in our next video. My name is Julian. Till next time.